Hey, good morning. Thank you so much for taking the time to uh, check out some robots today. I'm Patrick Gross. I'm with the RG Group. We are here in uh, York, Pennsylvania, and we're going to go over new technology with mobile industrial robots versus the old technology or the first generation of technology. So you can just follow me over here. We're going to start with the older technology. And this, uh, this video is really intended for our customer base that's out there who maybe has an existing deployment of a MIR 100 or a MIR 200 or multiple MIR 100s or 200s and is now evaluating why should I invest in a MIR 250 for my next application or a MIR 1000 for my next application? What's different technically and why would I uh, choose to do something um, other than what I've already done? So um, a quick overview on MIR. MIR is a, a supplier of ours that we've been working with for a number of years now. They make autonomous mobile robots. For some customers, you may look at this and think, oh, this is an AGV. Well, it isn't. It's an AMR, which stands for Autonomous Mobile Robot. Basically, what that means is uh, from point to point, it can dynamically navigate the environment that it's in. So if this gentleman down here were to get in the way of one of these robots when it was dropping off a, um, a load, it would see that individual and safely navigate uh, that obstacle um, dynamically. So let's start with the older technology. In 2016, Mir introduced this robot, which is the Mir 100. And the Mir 100 uh, basically stands for 100 kilograms of payload capacity. So what that basically means is you can put roughly 200 pounds on top of this and move it from point to point. Uh, this was the first Mir robot uh, in existence, and it will still be in production for years to come. Uh, in total of all of these robots, Mir has 6,500 robots deployed globally currently. Uh, and the RG Group, based in York, Pennsylvania, has done a little over 100 in the past couple years. Um, so mainstay model, bread and butter model, first model that, that Mir introduced. Um, but they have come a long way since then. This was the next iteration of uh, Mir Robotics, which was the Mir 200, and you can see they've fabricated this Mir hook on top of the robot, which is actually a, a robot in itself. Um, this basically gives the robot the ability to tow up to 500 kilograms. So this piece of equipment will uh, use 3D vision and, uh, and a couple other pieces of technology including a, a QR code like so many of us are seeing in restaurants today, uh, to find a cart, attach to a cart, and then tow a cart throughout the facility. And we have a couple videos of that on our YouTube page that you can view as well. Um, this robot, important to note, at the end of this year will no longer be manufactured. Um, the 100 will stay in place, the 200 will stop being made, um, and Mir and RG Group will support that for five years going forward. But the next iteration of that is the Mir 250. And you might be looking at this either as an existing customer or a new customer and saying, well, gosh, that doesn't look that much different. But I'm gonna get into some of the specifics of how it's different in just a minute. But before I do that, just wanna quickly highlight the Mir 1000, uh, which is one of the larger robots. As you can see, we've, we've put a uh, pallet movement top module on top of this, which gives you the ability to um, back up to a conveyor and autonomously transport pallet loads. Similar to the Mir 100, it's a Mir 1000, so 1000 kilograms of payload capacity. But now I wanna get into some of the technical details as it pertains to the difference between the old versus the new. So I wanna start with um, safety. So safety, if you look very closely, you can see down here that each of these robots have bumpers. They also have lighting on the sides, which gives you the ability to have a turn signal approach in the, um, in the actual route when the robot is deployed on a mission. The area scanners that are used on these robots are sick area scanners that are up to date and more advanced than the previous models. So a little bit more uh, technology when it comes to navigating the environment. Also, one other detail if you look closely is these cameras. So additional cameras on uh, the 250, the 1000, and now the 1350 and 600 that give you even more um, sensing when it comes to navigating a dynamic environment. Now, just to quickly highlight, 
This is a newer Mir 100. So I mentioned to you that the Mir 200 is gonna be obsolete and the Mir 100 will be in manufacture and you can see that they've modified these cameras. All of these robots can dock autonomously and charge autonomously, but the 250 and the 1000 and the next generation of Mir robots have got a more capable battery and a more capable charging mechanism. Um, so basically this robot will charge, the Mir 250 will only take an hour to charge up to 80% and it will run for 10 hours. Um, the Mir 100 and the Mir 200 um, take a little bit longer to charge and they will only run for eight hours at full load. So more capability when it comes to charging, when it comes to safety, but also when it comes to speed. So this robot runs, the 250 runs at two meters a second, which is much faster than the 100 and the 200, but it's also safer. Why would it be safer? Well, it's smaller in footprint. You may not be able to see it closely, but it's a smaller robot and it's a more dense robot. So the industrial rating on these robots is IP20. The industrial rating on this robot is um, IP above an IP50. So basically it's more um, capable of taking on a little bit of moisture, a little bit of dust. Um, certainly the cleaner the environment, the better, but that is the IP rating. Also important to note, if you zoom in here closely, Ben, the battery is at the top here and is on a quick release. So for maintenance purposes, if you wanted to uh, quickly swap out a battery, um, it's much harder to do in the older robots than it is in the newer Mir 250. So really in summary, what's important to note here that Mir is, is sort of being the, the leading, the forerunner when it comes to AMRs in the marketplace, 6,500 deployed across the globe. This is really the next generation of technology. Old generation, new generation. They're making advancements. Like all technology, it gets better over time, cheaper, more cost-effective, safer. If I were a customer and evaluating, do I buy a 100 or a 200 or a 250 or a 1000? Um, the cost difference here isn't much. I would be, um, I would be steered in, in this direction uh, when it comes to uh, implementing AMRs. And if you're interested or have more questions, certainly please reach out to us. Uh, we are a national certified systems integrator and also a stocking distributor for the Northeast region. So we've got a lot of experience and a lot of expertise to help you figure this out. Thanks for the time.